Hi everyone, welcome back to Momo Closet, episode 10. So if you notice, I'm back on the selection screen from episode 9. And I'm going to show you what happens if I pick the other option, a cosplay photo shoot. So I wasn't able to put this in episode 9 because it was getting quite long. So before I start the main program for episode 10, let's see what happens with this option. Okay, so Reggie tells Alice, We still have plenty of time. Do you want to take some cosplay pictures? <laughs> so why all of a sudden? Hmm, I know what that means. So how do you know what I was thinking? Guess the gamble paid off. Okay. Hmm, so did you say you wanted to make up for last time? Surely this would be a good opportunity. So back for the first photo shoot, I was, she was all nervous, she was freaking out, and I was making the pictures look bad. So okay, well how about we try again and I'll try to be more confident and I'll give you better photos. Um, Kakamihara-san? Well, I'm on the verge of reminding her why she started coming over in the first place. But I hold off on saying anything else. Well, originally she was coming here to blow off some steam. And now it's time, or now it's just like hanging out at a friend's house for her, it seems. Well, I guess she's forgotten. Well, I don't think so. Well, it's good that things have turned out this way, though. So what's holding Reiji back from doing the photo shoot? Well, nothing. I caught myself about to say something that I probably shouldn't have. That's all. Hmm. So maybe you have something interesting they're thinking about that you don't want to tell me. Oh, okay. That's it. Well, just the photo shoot's off. So he's just trying to tease Alice like, oh, so um, if you have some concerns about it, then um, let's just skip it. And I'm pretty sure he knows that, well, I'm pretty sure Alice wants it and she just needs to say it out. Okay, so after bantering some more, we finally start our photo shoot. Okay, so Alice, she is feel a little bit better with the photo shoot, but she's still kind of uncomfortable. Well, after I've taken a couple of test shots, Kakamira-san expresses her concern. Hmm, wait, weird? Well, what do you mean? Well, um, I'm not as good as your mother, so I wonder if I did it perfectly as well. And hopefully this is not the problem that's holding me back from making a nice shoot. Well, it's totally fine. And besides, those are just your personal collections. You don't have to worry about the quality too much. Well, that kind of depends. Because um, even if it's for your own personal memories or your own personal inventory, you probably still want something good in your collection. <laughs> and it's kind of bad if you- oh well, even if it's mo just for me, not for anyone else, if it looks really bad quality, it's probably not worth keeping in at some point. I'll just toss it out. Hmm, she still holds a grudge about that though. Well, let's just put that to one side for now and just enjoy ourselves. Well, when I see you pull that kind of expression from behind the camera, I can't help but feel like it's my fault. Okay, hmm, 
So you never practiced it. Well, you were ready for this from the get go, huh? Well, I did, or I put all my effort into it, and I want some good results. And don't ruin it for me. Sure, sure, sure. All right then. Well, let's see the first of these poses you whipped up last night. Okay. Hmm. That smile looks far less forced. And I guess I succeeded in making her relax this time. So about 10 minutes have passed. So how are the photos coming out right now? Hmm. Well, there's something off about her. So until a moment ago, Kimura saw was enthusiastically striking all sorts of all sorts of poses, but now she's grown quiet. Hmm. So should I ask her what is wrong, or should I just try to keep going for a little bit longer? Okay, Kagemura-san, can you look this way? So I think she's getting worried. So I think she's getting worried about what or how the pictures will turn out once she goes and looks at them afterwards. And they go, like, hmm, so am I doing it right? I wonder what I look like. So she casts me a bashful, silent glance, and I snap a picture. Well, I still can't shake that feeling that something is wrong, though. Well, to be honest, I think it's just that she seems crazy sexy right now. Hmm, I wonder if where Reiji got that idea. And every time I take a photo... Uh-oh. She responds with a little moan. Okay, this is becoming a problem. Hmm, I remember her acting the same way last time. And even though mom was with us, Kagamira-san ended up running off, unable to bear the embarrassment. So are we done yet? Uh, no, sorry, just a second. So maybe I want some more shots, or um, there's still some time before. Well, oops. Okay, so it looks like I got caught staring. I continue taking photos, watching her though, or through the viewfinder. Her cheeks were a little bit flustered. She looks so agonized when she almost seems in pain. And she won't stop squirming and fidgeting. Um, well, sorry. So, um, have you been holding it in? So what does he mean by holding it in? Well, um, you should have just told me if you really needed to go to the restroom. Oh, okay. No, 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 that's not it. It's not that problem. Okay, so sorry for asking. Well, that was kind of tactless on my part. But really, I don't mind. So feel free to go if you need to, okay? Yeah, um, if you really have to go to the restroom, just go, um, don't just wait until this thing ends. So if that was not the case, then I wonder what it, it is, because now Alice is not making sense. Well, I'm not sure I should really say any more, so I shut up and take more photos. Well, girls don't need to go to the restroom, more than guys, and I thought I was just being considerate. But then, if you bring it up in context, that kind of isn't really being considered because it makes it quite embarrassing for Alice. 
Well, maybe I shouldn't have been so blunt about it. Okay. So as my mind whirls, I continue taking... So I continue to press the shutter. <laughs> hey, um, are you alright? Come here, son. Uh oh. Hmm. We're covered in sweat. Can you stand up? Here, um, grab my hand. And then I touch your shoulder. Huh? Her body jolts and she slumps to the floor. Wait, um, come here, son. Do you just, uh,. Hi everyone. So unfortunately, I had to cut out the rest of the cosplay photo shoot. And it was because the photo shoot was getting too appropriate to be shown here. So it was getting quite intense for Alice to handle, and she ended up falling down. And when Reiji picked up Alice, he noticed that one Alice was in sweat, and two, Alice was breathing hard. And for some reason, Alice wanted to resume the photo shoot, but this time, she makes Reiji take pictures of her in interesting and suggestive poses. And I'm pretty sure Alice does realize that it's quite embarrassing, but she wants to go with it anyways. And once the photo shoot ended, then nothing to say and Alice just ran off. But at least she was able to survive the photo shoot much longer than what happened in episode 6. And it kind of confirms what the mom Nayuta said about this session for photo shoot. Well anyways, we're now back to where episode 9 ended, so Alice asked Reiji to go shopping with her in Akihabara and after buying lots and lots of front lace merchandise Alice wanted to see a maid cafe and they went to one that or where Satsuki was working and Satsuki did spot Alice and Reiji in the cafe so now that Satsuki knows that Alice is a FNL fan. She's using it as a bargaining chip to have Alice and Reggie keep her job as a maid worker in this cafe a secret. And during the conversation, Sasuke was talking so loudly and yelling at Reggie to the point where the store owner, or actually Sasuke's relative, had to kick everyone out. So Sasuke, Alice, and Reiji. So let's see how it picks up from here. Okay, so Sasuke says... <sighs> this sucks. I can't believe I got kicked out. So Sasuke was warned multiple times to keep her voice down and not to disturb the other customers. Well, you may, be, you may have been off the clock, but we were still pretty noisy. I'm sorry, I did contribute to you being kicked out. So having been shoot at the cafe, we wander around the area for a bit, grumbling about it to each other. Well, I was going to go to that bookstore anyways. Wait, so what's stopping Alice? So Lace? Hmm. Oh, so I'm actually interested in that other character. So I think this was... Where, um, so in episode 9, Alice was wondering 
if Sasuke liked frill or lace better. So is that your answer to the question from earlier? Well, I'm sorry. Well, if I don't answer you, then you just, you're just going to keep pushing me to answer. And that's probably going to happen even when we go to school. Well, no, I have enough with you. So, just remember, don't let anyone know that I'm working there. <laughs> and despite Sakahogi Satsuki being all angry at Alice, I was like, oh, well, that's great, so next time we can talk more. Well, see you at school then. If you do show up. Uh, that keyword or that key phrase okay so we wave goodbye curtly rebuking the gesture Sakahogi-san takes her leave hmm small world huh <laughs> okay and I wonder if the same is with Sasuke but I'm pretty sure it's no. Hmm. Well, sakahogi san can be funny once you get talking to her. And just one improvement that Sasuke can make is that, um, well, she shouldn't be all upset at everything, because that's going to cause her a lot more trouble than just being kicked out from her relative's cafe. Hmm, no kidding. So, a side of herself that cannot be shown at school. Well, Kakamira san is in a pretty similar fashion, so it must have stuck a chord. Or shook a chord. Well, anyways, it's getting pretty crowded. Why don't we just head home? Um, yeah, I kinda guess. Wait, Kagamira san, are you listening? Okay, so while he was talking to Alice about okay, let's just go home. Alice look at something. Oh um that what store. So what kind of store is that? Wait, which one? So I'm sure what she's talking about, I try to follow her gaze. Oh um so, so this store. Wait, so it's M's or Mzu? Is that what's called? Oh, um, Mzu Pop Life. Oh, the sex department store. Oh, ooh. So, as you expect, its specialization is adult toys and stuff like that. Well, they carry a huge variety of items from... Okay, I don't need to explain all this stuff. <laughs> but anyways, I'm also interested at what they have on display. It's like, oh, look, this, 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 this is all great, interesting. Uh, well, she's really zeroed in on this place. So, can we take a look? Wait, 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 wait hold on. Don't go in there. So, are you afraid that I'm going to spend more? I'm already out of cash, so um, you shouldn't worry about that. And you won't have more items to carry home. No, no, that's not the reason at all. 
well, it's a pretty risky place to set foot in. And you only make it um, harder for the other customers. And I wonder why Reiji has to explain to Alice about what is in there and why it's bad for her to go in there. Even though he already mentioned what is this door about. Uh, um, and it's gonna make it really hard for Reiji to explain to Alice about why. Well, I need. Need to do something about this. Well, I guess I'll just have to come out with it. Um, well, Kagamira san, to put that answer bluntly, it's a sex shop. Okay, so he didn't explain to Alice at first. Okay, so she now realizes what it is. She stared at me wide-eyed, finally having grasped the situation. Alright, alright. So stop shouting my name out loud. Okay, so it looks like Reiji finally grabbed Alice away from that shop and just somewhere that's safe and it's a good place for Alice to recover and regain her senses. So, um, the M shop, that was a really important element in Frowing's game Peer Girl. Because um, that, I feel, was what caused the whole story to unfold. So what happened was that... So, um... The main character, Satori's sister, Sora... She wrecked the father's computer. And I don't want to tell you why. So, um... The father tasked... Sora and Satoru to buy a new computer for him. And while they were shopping for a new computer for the father, Sora is like, oh, um, some game just came out. And she wanted to go get the game while they went to buy a new computer. And while Sora told So Sora told Satoru to wait outside while she went to buy that game. And while he was waiting the child from Yako came over and was like, Oh, um, what are you doing over here? And he's like, Oh, I'm just waiting for my sister sword to finish her shopping. Um, she went into some store to buy her game. And that kind of got Miyako curious. So they both went inside, or they followed Sword's footsteps, and it turned out that they were inside the Emzu store. And it was just way too ridiculous and crazy for both Miyako and Satoru. And to make it worse, the shopkeeper, Lemon, came over and said, like, um, Hey, your skin customer's away. Um, you should keep her voice down. And then she started advertising all the stuff that was in the shop. And even though Miyako was getting turned on and engaged by it, Satoru wasn't really happy about it and he was all just freaked out about it and he ends up grabbing Miyako out of the, the shop. And it turned out that um, Sora probably told the shopkeeper Lemon about, Oh, um, my brother Satoru is here. Um, don't let him know that I'm a frequent shopper here. And I think that's what Lemon did. But then um, once Satoru and Miyako left the shop. Sora just told him Lemon about everything that she's suffering, all the things that she's facing. And it's like, oh well Satoru's trying to put me to this and he wants me to be like a proper girl and like all these complaints. And then Lemon's like, oh, don't worry, I have a solution for you. 
and I feel that this was the key to making that whole pure girl store happen. Because um, it, turn, it turns out that the owner of that shop, or maybe that branch of M's store, that was K. So um, I'm going too far. So going back to this, let's see what happens next. Okay, so I've brought Kagamira san to a nearby park to calm down. She finally stopped to talk after initially shaking off ahead of me. Oh, um, yeah, so apparently the higher up you go, the more hardcore it becomes. So I wonder if um that little BG or background image for Pure Girl is reflecting off of the um top floor. Or maybe um one of the middle floors. Hmm. So she starts fanning herself, her chest having or um let's see. Oh heaving no noticeably. Hmm. So she's so careless about stuff like this. I'm getting a real eyeful of her bra. Mm. Well, the problem is that Alice is trying to fan off in public. So maybe she should find some more secluded place or just do it in the restroom. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to stare. Well, my eyes just happened to drift south. But still, the main problem is that Alice is doing it in public. Okay. So she presses her hand to her chest and shoots me a accusatory look. Or accusatory look. Huh? Wait, you're not going to yell at me? Well, even though you have her quirks and flaws, but at least you helped me a lot today. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, so what a wonderful world we live in. <laughs> okay, so Haha, <laughs> well I guess uh, we're the same like that. As always, she accepts my jokes in good grace. Well she seems like a completely different person from the strict student killer president I used to know. Well, I'm pretty sure we know why. It's like, well, as student council president, I have my standards. I have to act like this model student for everyone at school. But now that I'm not the student council president right now, I can be myself, be natural, be normal. So I'm just wondering, um, do you like that shop? Do you go there regularly? Wait, I'm a guy, so uh, uh, yeah, uh, to uh some extent. Well, I'm pretty sure Alsakum. He is. He does do that. He's just afraid to speak up. Ah, damn it. I can't get around that. Well, I'll occasionally spend a few hours looking at their cosplay stuff. Really? Hmm. So, a few hours to look at cosplay stuff. That's kind of plenty. Maybe you look at other things? Or maybe he gets advertised by Lemon to look at all these other ridiculous goods. Okay, so he tries to justify his statements like, uh, Well, time melts away like ice cream on a hot summer day when you're browsing in a store like that. You know. Hmm. But for some reason, your reasoning doesn't really make sense. 
Hey, well, I know that was a pretty lame line, but you don't have to give me that silent treatment. Okay, that sounds a little bit strange. Like, uh, well, I would like to have a present from there. It kind of sounds like what K did to um, Satoru in One of the Roots and Pure Girl. Oh, well, I appreciate the thought, but uh, no thanks. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure you wanted to do that. Did you? Uh, uh, okay. Kind of, yeah. But I think I'll manage it on my own. So, um, don't worry about it. Okay, good luck. Hey, um, don't go get it like that. Okay, so, um, he's like, um, I'm pretty sure that's what Alice is thinking of in her mind. It's like, um, hmm, so that's what it sounds like to me. Oh god, my heart, my heart's really pounding now. Wait, could this be another fetish of me? So actually, there was something else I wanted to ask of you, Hashimakun. So what is it? So why his room? Um, my mind glows blank at her words. All I can do is give her a quick nod. It's like, well, I'll have to accept it because I'm pretty sure. But then again, it's kind of bad to turn down a request like that. Well, then again, um, Reggie's room is kind of like a sanctuary for Alice. It's a place where she can have a relief from everything, including, well, pretty much everything. Because if Alice was to go back home, she'd be under close scrutiny by her father, who is not a fan of anime and manga. Well, it's fine, and besides, you're here every week. And plus, Reggie's room looks kind of big in this image, so obviously, like, that's the patient's feeling is going to give Alice a sense of relief. Well, then again, it's kind of weird that I'm in your room not on a Sunday. Well, I guess. Well, she is busy. She clearly wants to say something. Hmm. So, what is it? So, why is it so awkward? Um, well, you see. Uh, yeah? So, she squirms uncomfortably. Well, she's been so frank and open about her interests lately, and it's kind of refreshing to see her get all bashful once more. Well, it still feels crazy, tense in here right now. Um, so usually I tell her to get to the point, but all I can do is stare. Well, her first, her fluster cheeks. Her rapid, shallow breaths, her unsure looks. Hmm. Every about, everything about her entices me. Well, 
Hmm, so what? So, um, where's this coming from? Yeah, that's why I'm here. 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 I'm Okay, so we can see that Alice is now trusting Reiji a lot more than before. It's like, well, you're the person that I feel comfortable talking about. It's like some of the more personal issues. Because um, you're helping me, you're giving me good advice, and you're helping me fend off all these stereotypes and what people expect of me. Oh, well, um, yeah, I guess so. Um, so what is it that you want to tell me? Well, my heart is racing. I have, I have an idea where this is headed for, but... Well, it's too good to be true. Uh, yeah, so what is it? I want to give it to you my um Wait, that's a bit of a sudden, don't you think? I'm not quite ready, but if you're sure Wait, what exactly is it that you want to give me? Okay, so um, all the things that um, I bought, I want to put at your place because um, there's no place to hide it in my own place, my room, because, well, I'm hiding everything right now and I will run out of room and I can't let my father see what I have. What? And you're the only person, or like this is the only place I can safely hide it without any repercussions. And plus, you have a really big bedroom, so um, there's lots of places to put all the stuff. Uh, wait. So is she trying to take advantage of my nice and large bedroom? Oh well, it's not as if I was expecting anything more than that. Well, nope. This is a disappointment at all. Why well, I me? Mean, what reason would I have to get myself all worked up? It's not as though she was going to offer me her. Hey, I mean, you know, this is not your personal storage closet, you know. Well, I understand. Just please, um, let me have a place to put all the stuff. Hmm. Well, like what, for example? Well, I'll do anything if... Well, I'll do anything to return you a favor for um, letting me keep all of my items in your place. Okay, so how about let me rip your pantyhose? How about that one? I think he's just trying to tease out like, um, oh, so if you say anything, then how about that? Well, of course, so any otaku's worth his salt knows what to say to a question like that. Okay, I'll do anything for you minus all the um, inappropriate things. Uh, 
ういうのとは別の話なんだからね。Okay. Well, to be honest, ripping off her pantyhose is more than just naughty, it's just plain dirty. And I say that even though it was my idea in the first place. But still, I kind of feel like Rage is just teasing Alice like, a, well, if you say anything, anything means anything. Okay, so what else? Okay, so, alright, no biggie.、Um, I don't mind looking after your stuff. Well, that's just perfectly fine. It's like, oh, well, I'm just trying to、um, push you a little bit, but、um, it's okay if you keep all of your items in my room. So, I was like, well, even if you say that's okay, you don't really show it, and you kind of feel uncomfortable with having my items at your place. Well, I understand. I'm using you too much. I'm asking too many favors from you. Well, don't worry about it. Well, I don't have any other ideas, anyways. Hmm, so. How about we have. or I treat you to dinner? So, how's that? Maybe that's a good, I, good way to return all those favors? Well, I guess for the time being, that's as far as it goes with her. Well, fine. I'm not going to force her. And I wonder why Rage. Are you still thinking about this? Like, oh.、Um... So, and then, if you feel like it, maybe a bit of pantyhose ripping. Okay, Rage is going too far. Oh, come on, so you're still thinking about that? So, I already told you, know that. She lets out an awkward laugh. Well, I better not tell her I was half serious. Well, if that was the case, then Reggie should, should stop by now. Um, well, you really don't have to give me anything in return. I'm already getting plenty out of this. It's like, well, um, it's okay. I said it's, it's okay. Um, I'm okay with having all your items here. You don't have to do any more for me or yourself. Well, I never had so much fun going around Akihabara with a friend before. So, <laughs> Nanda. Okay, it's、so、like, well, um, just having. Someone to accompany while going to the bustling city of Akihabara. That's enough for me, and. Well, really,、um, that's great. I inadvertently crack a smile, and Kagamira san gives me a quiet nod. Ano, Hashima kun. Okay, so I want something to drink. Okay, sure. So after spending a little while enjoying all her new purchases in my bedroom, Kagamira san asks for a drink before she heads off. Well, why I fetch her something, I get to thinking. Honestly, I like to spend more time with her, but part of me wants her to leave soon. Well, the reason I feel so conflicted is a bit difficult to explain. Well, she's been rolling around my bed for the entire time. 
Kagamira's son was so preoccupied with her FNL merchandise that she seemed to completely forget where she was. But then again, those items are hers, so... It's kind of 50-50. Meaning that I got plenty of glimpses of her upper skirt. Oh, come on. As a healthy young man, that's a... Or there's a limit to how long I can suppress my urges. Well, God, I need some time alone and soon. But I do want to keep chatting with her, though. Well, I'm really torn. Okay, so here's some lemonade. Like I say, went to get some drinks and... Hmm, so I feel that lemonade is getting too simple, you're always making it. So how about you make something a little bit more exquisite than just lemonade? Hmm, so how about something that Ichan likes? Well, that's why mom makes it all the time. We always have some on hand. Oh, so it's like, a, well, Ichan likes lemonade and... I didn't really think that it was just simple to the point where Alice would question it. Oh, so the drink is not a lemonade but something special. Well, it's fine. She always makes it way more than what we need. So relieved, kagamira san brings the cup to her mouth. Hmm, so something is up with her. So for some reason, Alice is still not happy, and I wonder why. An awkward silence falls while she sips at her lemonade. It's way more awkward than it was earlier. Well, back then she was preoccupied with other things, but now her attention is obviously focused on me. Naturally, I can't help but look at her as well. And when our eyes meet... Ah, so, um, you want more seconds? Okay, please. Hmm. So why so polite? Uh, 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 it's okay. So after that brief exchange, I'm sure of it. So something definitely is up with Kagemira-san today. Was it because we went to Akihabara? Or is it some power that places... Or like this place has over... People. Well, I know some people say that lives take a drastic left turn once they start making... Let's see... Pilgrimages to the otaku mecca. Well, still, all joking aside... Okay, so I'm sorry, Kagamira-san. I wish I could think of something to say right now, but my mind's completely blank. I think the same is true for... Alice on the other side. Well, I was just wondering if there's anything you wanted to talk about, you know, as comrades? <laughs> well, it's quite obvious. Well, I'm pretty dense, and even I can tell something is not right. Well, coming from Kagamira-san, there's only one thing that can be about really. So maybe it's because like, well, I kind of wonder if I can still enjoy this hobby without being caught by my father. So unfortunately, I rather doubt it's anything juicy. Okay, so I want to talk to you about something. 
and there it is. So if I just wait patiently, she'll say something or whatever it is she wants to get off her chest. Hmm. So what is it then? And surprisingly, the question applies to Alice as well. So the conversation got so awkward that it went to, okay, so how do we indicate or signal each other to want to ask this question? And say, like, well, how about we call each other first names? And that didn't really work. So Alice was like, okay, well, I'll just go home and let's just forget about this. So we're not at the point where Reiji is going to send Alice home, and this is where I'll stop episode 10. But at least we see that Alice is trusting Reiji more, and she sees his place and him as like a sanctuary because she can enjoy her hobby and act normal, act herself. Because one, she can't do it at home because of the father. And two, at school, everyone, including Yoriko, sees Alice as this perfect model student, excellent grades, the student council president. And if Alice was to change anything, I'm sure it'll cause a big uproar and the father may eventually find out. So we we'll also see that Rage is like Ishitaro from Loki Love. So he's starting to get interested. He's kind of falling for Alice, but he's afraid to make the next step. And he is trying to hold back like Ishitaro in the beginning of Loki Love. So we'll see how it goes for Reiji as well as we go down the episodes. So with that in mind, I'll see you later.